Another very important tool in here is a tool that can analyze the keywords within the titles of the products. Now, as important as the, <clears throat> excuse me, as the tag keywords, the keywords in your titles are also equally very important. Well, maybe not equally, but also very, very important. So we've developed a tool in here called the, to analyze keywords in the product title. So what you wanna do first, you gotta select the products you want to analyze, the product titles. So let's go ahead and just select them all. And you go analyze product keywords, sorry, <laughs> analyze keywords in product titles. And I do wanna mention that this tool is also available in the shop analyzer as well. But we'll get to that in just a moment. Let's do this first. So let's go ahead and analyze all the keywords in the product titles. And what it does here, it, does, um, it, it finds all of the word combinations, the frequency of how many times a word combination occurs in all of those titles. So I have it set to one word. So this particular word shirt occurred 30 times in all those titles, which was 62.5% of all the titles in an average of zero hearts per title, <laughs> which isn't very good. But let's go and look at, usually one word doesn't give you much insight. Let's go to like three words. So these are all the three word combinations that occurred in all of the different titles that we see here. So now we can start to see some valuable information. So how many times this occurred, how many hearts per listing, which didn't come up with much in the first one there. It's because we don't actually have that many products in there. That's the issue, okay. Anyhow, there's not much much products here in my list, so you're not getting a lot of data here. But just so you understand, you could see the percentages of the given keyword combination that occur in those titles, the average heart per keyword combination, which kind of gives you an idea of the value of that actual keyword set, that keyword combination, because usually people leave hearts when they buy something. So it kind of resembles purchases a little bit, but not exactly. But it still gives you sort of a scale, an idea. You know, this is 200, almost 300 hearts per, um, per set. Of course, it only happened twice. You need more data to get more better insights, but still, this is gonna be a lot more valuable than something that it gets nothing. So that's the idea. And you can also save this data to project files, comma delimited text. You can save the keywords to a comma delimited file, like spreadsheet files, and also text. You can copy them to your clipboard and so forth. Same with when you right click. So this is similar to the tag analyzer, but this analyzes the keywords in the product titles. And the same goes for the shop analyzer, which is really valuable. Like say, for example, you group it by the sections and you wanna look at a given section like daddy and me shirt sets. So I just wanna look in this particular section and I wanna analyze the keywords and the product titles for that section only. So daddy and me occurred 19 times, has an average of two hearts per uh, keyword combination. It's not really that much. You can look at other ones here that occurred lots like this one here or baby bodysuit shirts day, daddy and of course um like say for example if you don't want to see the word and you can actually use the stop words up here if you'd like these words will not uh, will not appear in the word combination things that don't make sense like um you can always play around with this with the actual stop words database by entering what you want in here or if you do not want to use it, you can just select it off and it'll just give you all the words. And that's basically how you can utilize this. It's, it's very powerful. And if we go in, let's say for example, we ungroup and let's select all. If we want to see, there's 200, or sorry, 564 products here. Let's take a look at the number one three word combination. 176 times that word that combination occurred, 31%. So now we can really dig into which keywords are doing really well for these particular listings. And these keywords are very important for you as a marketer as well. If you're selling on Etsy, obviously you can use these types of keywords or similar keywords in your product listings. Or if you're just in e-commerce or doing research for other people, these words are extremely valuable for putting in product titles, in keyword sections, tag sections, all sorts of stuff across all sorts of different platforms like Shopify or WooCommerce or whatever you're using. So that's very valuable information for you to use. And this tool will definitely help you increase getting more traffic 
and more eyeballs on your e-com products when you're using the right keywords that are already proven to do well by analyzing the data using this uh, pretty awesome tool. So that's it for this video. It's fairly self-explanatory. Go ahead and try it out for yourself and see if you can uncover those awesome top profitable keyword combinations for your product titles.